well, let's just implement this first one which is calculate distance between points so after this we can say calculate distance between points the return type for this function will be string and as you know we are passing two parameter to this function the position and last position so we can say that vector dot vector 3 and it will be our point A and then the next one will be our point B okay which will be of type vector dot vector 3 so anyways now we have a built-in function which is by the name distance 2 okay so we create a variable final length and we say that from point A distance to point B that is from A to B we calculate the distance okay hope you can see it if I zoom it anyways I hope that you can see this code easily okay so after it we can simply return this length so we can add single quotes and then we can say dollar curly braces and inside the curly braces we can add parentheses and we can say that we can say length multiply with 100 dot to string as fixed up to two digits okay after point we want to display two digits and yes it will be in centimeter so after the ending curly brass we can simply write cm which simply means centimeter so this was the method to method to calculate distance between points now the next thing is to get the middle vector and assign it to a point variable so let's just copy this name and down here we can simply implement this also which is get middle vector and the return type for this will be vector dot vector 3 and we are passing these parameters let's give it the same name which is vector dot vector 3 a and b for the a point and b point okay which is the position and last position so you can say return vector dot vector 3 and again we will simply put the parentheses and we can say a dot x comma sorry not comma we can say a dot x plus b dot x and then we can say divide by divide by 2 let's move this to the next line so that we can see it more easily okay like this let's just copy paste this and we will change it for the y and z axis okay so the next one we have is dot y dot y and then we have dot z dot z so yeah this is all about to get the middle vector okay now let's just minimize these methods and the last one is that is draw text so we can say here that is draw text the return type is nothing so we can say void the first parameter that we, which we are passing to this function is the distance which is of string type so we can give it name as text distance comma the second one is the point so you can say vector dot vector 3 and let's give it the same name which is point so we can say that final text geometry equals to ARK text the text will be the text distance now it is the same concept for this ar text if you remember in the very first app where we were displaying the hello world ar hello world app okay we have used the same ARK text the extrusion depth will be one then we have materials ar kit material diffuse 
AR kit material property color will be colors dot red and then after the AR kit text we can define a variable scale which will be equals to not a variable sorry a constant which is scale by the name scale 0 0.001 and then we can say final vector scale equals to vector dot vector 3 scale comma scale comma scale and as we have to display the uh, text on the AR view I mean you on our camera so we can simply say final node equal equals to AR kit node the geometry will be text geometry okay the AR text the position point and the scale will be vector scale and after this we can say AR kit controller dot get node bounding box and it is node dot then let's split this instead of this value we can say list angular braces and then we can say vector dot vector 3 and we will give it name as result make sure to remove this null and this arrow operator okay make sure to add curly braces then a semicolon at the end and then inside this final minimum vector equals to result 0 then final maximum vector will be result 1 then we can take the derivative which simply means dx final dx equals to max vector dot x minus ma minimum vector dot x divide by 2 multiply with scale then the dy which we can say final dy maximum vector dot y minus minimum vector dot y divide by 2 multiply with scale so now we can say final position equals to vector dot vector 3 node dot position dot x minus dx node dot position dot y minus dy and then for the z axis it is node dot position dot z comma so we can say node dot position equals to position and then we can say ar kit controller dot add node 